Hey guys, what's up? In this video, I'll show you how to make some daylight simulations with our Villa Savoie model. So, I have opened again the original file because in the last video we made several changes. So, I'm starting all over again. And now I would like to make a specific time of the day, which is noon or even afternoon. And if we take a look at some references, we will notice that in this time of the day, the sun is very white and strong, the shadows are very sharp, and we have a lot of contrast. We can also notice that many times, the bright areas of the image get a little bit fuzzy, producing a glare or bloom effect. So I would like to simulate all this qualities of this time of the day in our Villa Savoie model. Okay, so first of all, I will start Enscape. I'll drag this window a little bit to the right. I will also click here to synchronize my views. I can also verify here in the Enscape window setting in preferences that this option here is checked as we did in the last video, and now I can start my simulation. One first important step, as we've seen before, is to turn on the material override. So I'll click my visual settings, I'll change the style to white, I'll close now this window, and now we have this white material overriding all the materials of the scene, and we can now perceive much better the way the colors are working according to the sunlight. And we can also notice that even without making any change, we have already an image that looks like noon. We have a strong and white sun, we have some strong shadows as well, but we can make a few changes to make this image a little bit more interesting. So I'll drag this window a little bit to the center so I can access my shadows tab here and I will play around with the sliders till I get some variations that I consider to be more interesting. So I'll drag this slider maybe a little bit to the left, also the date, I can play around until I get a nice shadow and here I will move it a little bit back to noon and maybe this combination of these two parameters are nice because now I have a stronger sun hitting the facade. I also have a more sharp shadow being cast here than it was before. So although it's not so different than the previous simulation, I'm a little bit more happy with this result because all the aspects of noon are now a little bit more exaggerated. And after setting the time and the date, we can continue making addition to our image here in the visual settings. So I'll click this icon here, I'll rearrange my windows, okay, and here we have many parameters to explore. We can, for example, increase the exposure to have a brighter image, we can explore, for example, the image tab and emphasize the contrast of the image, we can check this auto contrast button here to make it automatic or we can also increase the highlights so the bright areas are brighter and also the shadows so the shadows get even darker so it's a similar effect but we have more control we can also play around with the bloom effect to get more glare so the bright areas now of the image get a little bit fuzzy so now our image resembles much more a known simulation than before because we are exaggerating in many aspects of this time. We can go on changing some parameters here. For example, we can explore the atmosphere tab and we could even play around with the sun brightness and the sun would get even whiter but I don't think that would be necessary now. So whenever we want to go back to the original setting, we can basically click here in this arrow, okay? We can also change the background. So here in sky, we could play with the clouds, could put more or less clouds and play with the variety of clouds. So you are free to play around with these parameters as you wish. And of course, it would be interesting to have a background instead of this white ground. So I can click here and choose, for example, forest, and then we can check the final result later. And after we play with all these parameters, it's very important to go back to the original image 
with the correct materials so we can go to the main tab and change the style back to none so now we have our original colors and in most cases we have to make some final adjustments because now we can see how the final image will be rendered so in my case i realized that my exposure is too high so i will decrease it a little bit maybe 50 percent it's okay i could also explore my image tab and maybe increase a little bit the shadows so we have more contrast so now the shadows are even more black and one nice effect that i always use in exterior scenes is the vignette so when we increase this effect the borders of our image get darker and now our render resembles much more a photograph because this is a photographic effect that normally happens and now if i'm happy with this result i can render my final image so first of all i'll check here the output size of the image which is full hd and for this test here is okay we can also click here in the save frame so now we can check the final format of the rendering and we won't be surprised in the end and my other suggestion here would be to go again to the main tab and change the rendering quality to ultra so now our final render will have the best quality possible then i can basically click here in screenshot i'll choose any folder here in my computer to save i'll name this file daytime noon simulation and i'll choose for now the jpeg extension because it's the most popular one and i won't do any post-production so now i can just save and just after a few seconds we have our final rendering of our exterior noon simulation so let's say that now we would like to make another daytime simulation but now we would like to explore sunset or sunrise which are times of the day that can actually produce very nice results so if we take a look again at some references we can notice that during sunset or sunrise the sun gets warmer sometimes it can be very yellow sometimes orange or even red and the shadows also change a lot they get very expensive and we can also notice that the skylight produces an orange effect or sometimes blue so we can have a very interesting image with a lot of saturation and warm colors which many times can produce a much more dramatic and interesting image than noon so to start testing out it's important to once again change the style to white so we can once more perceive the lighting in a better way i would also recommend to reduce the rendering quality to high so that we don't consume too much memory during this testing phase and now i will close my visual settings because i have to once again play around with the shadows parameter to change the sun's position so i will drag the slider probably to the left or to the right so we can get the sunrise or sunset and i also play around with the date so you can try and you will see that we will get very interesting results here with different colors participating in the lighting of the scene okay so after tweaking a lot these two parameters i finally found a nice result with a very warm sunlight and some very soft shadows so you can try something like this setting here but you can also try different ones and probably you will get some very nice results as well and after configuring the sun's position we can again explore the visual settings so i'll click here and here one important procedure would be to explore the image tab and decrease the highlights and especially the shadows because we don't want an image with so much contrast so if we decrease the shadows we will start to have a more interesting shadow and the skylight will produce a nice effect here with a little bit of blue or red color we can also decrease the highlights and the image is getting even nicer now we could also explore here the saturation to exaggerate the colors of the simulation i'll increase a little bit we could also play with the color temperature to make the image warmer for example if we drag it to the left and of course 
after setting these parameters it's very important to return to the main tab and change the style to none so now we can see how these adjustments are affecting the final image we can make some final adjustments considering the final image but in this case i'm quite happy with the result so i'll just leave it as it is and i'll go to the main tab i will increase the rendering quality since i'll produce the final render and basically now i can export the final image i'll once again use the jpeg extension and this time i'll name it as daytime sunrise simulation i'll save it so now after just a few seconds, we have our second daylight simulation using the procedural method here in Enscape. And in the next lessons, we'll learn how we can organize better our files using views and presets.